Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we got uh, Charlie the Unicorn, episode 1 through 5, the complete series. So, <sighs> this series is created by the same people who created uh, Llama Heart, uh, Llama Hats. And uh, that, that freaking series was a banger, man. It was so funny. It was hilarious. And yeah. Now we're doing Charlie the Unicorn, and this is, this video is an hour long, so, um, this reaction is probably going to be an hour and a half. So, um, I hope you have nothing to do, and if you do have something to do, don't do that something. Just watch this. I don't know, get popcorn, salt, or something, because this going to be a long-ass reaction. By the way, I created a gaming channel. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys even care about me playing games. Y'all probably don't. But if y'all do, check out my gaming channel. It'll be in the description below. I'm going to play games. Just let me know what games you want me to play. And I'm going to play them. Because, uh, yeah. I, I wanted to do or play games for a while. And I started on this channel. But people didn't really care about those games. So I kind of stopped doing games. I probably should not care about what people want. I mean, I do. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff I want to do on this channel, but I'm scared people is not going to be like, or I don't know. They're just going to be like, yeah, I don't like that. Stop that. So I'm just trying to, I'm trying to make content to appease you guys. But yeah, I got a gaming channel. So if you don't want to watch games, you can stay on this channel. If you want to see me play some, some games, you can head over there. Um, it's like 11.31 p.m. So I just stumbled over my words explaining that. I hope you got the gist of it, though, right? Hopefully. If not, I'll explain it at the end of the video. In like two hours. Because this is going to be a long reaction. Anyway, guys. Without further ado. Y'all boys and girls ready? I'm ready. Let's go. <coughs> hey, Charlie! Hey, Charlie, wake up! Yeah, Charlie, you silly sleepy head, wake up! Uh, oh god, you guys. This had better be pretty freaking important. Is the meadow on fire? No, Charlie. We found a map to Candy Mountain. Candy Mountain, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. We're going to Candy Mountain. Come with us, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. It'll be an adventure. I really don't like their voices at all. <laughs> Why are their voices so disturbingly weird and uncomfortable? I'm uncomfortable, guys. Their voices are uh, uncomfortably disturbing. And why does Charlie sound like he's been, he just smoked a pack of cigarettes? Like a whole pack, not just one or two, I mean literally the whole pack. We're going on an adventure, Charlie. Yeah, Candy Mountain, right. I'm just gonna, you know, go back to sleep now. No, Charlie, you have to come with us to Candy Mountain. Yeah, Charlie, Candy Mountain. It's a land of sweets and joy and joyness. Please stop bouncing on me. Candy Mountain, Charlie. Yeah, Candy Mountain. Oh, I'm fine. I'll go with you to Candy Mountain. La 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 la. Uh, enough with the singing already. Our first stop is over there, Charlie. Oh, God, what is that? It's a Leo Pleurodon, Charlie. Magical Leo Pleurodon. It's gonna guide our way to... Bruh. First of all, that's a dinosaur in the middle of a forest. Second of all, that's a that's a water dinosaur. Why is it on land? It should be in the ocean. What? What's going on? Why is there a dinosaur in the middle of the forest? Candy Mountain. All right, guys, you do know that there's no actual Candy Mountain, right? Shun the non-believer. Shun. Shun. Yeah. Yeah. 
It is spoken. It has told us the way. It didn't say anything. It's just over this bridge, Charlie. This magical bridge of hope and wonder. Is anyone else getting, like, covered in splinters? Seriously, guys, we shouldn't be on this thing. Charlie. 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 I'm right here. What do you want? Does this sound familiar? Carl! <laughs> what is it with these... What, in these animations, bro, what is it with these characters saying someone's name over and over again? <laughs> We're on a bridge, Charlie! <clears throat> We're here! Well, what do you know? There actually is a candy mountain. Candy mountain, candy mountain. You fill me with sweet, sugary goodness. Go inside the candy mountain cave, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. Go inside the cave. Magical wonders are to behold when you enter. Yeah, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna stay out here. But you have to enter the candy mountain candy cave, Charlie. <laughs> When you're down and looking for some cheering up, then just head right on up. Where the hell did those letters come from? Oh, they came from the si Why are they alive? Oh. To the Candy Mountain Cave. When you get inside, you'll find yourself a cheery land. Such a happy and joy-filled and perky merry land. They've got lollipops and gummy drops and candy things. Oh, so many things that will brighten up your day. It's impossible to wear a frown in Candy Town. It's the mecca of love, the Candy Cave. They've got jelly beans and coconuts with little hats. Candy rats, chocolate bats. It's a wonderland of sweets. Ride the candy train to town and hear the candy band. Candy bells, it's a treat. As they march across the land, cherry ribbons stream across the sky and to the ground. Turn around, it astounds. It's a dancing candy tree. In the Candy Cave, the magic Imagination runs so free, so now Charlie, please, will you go into the cave? All right, fine. I'll go into the freaking candy cave. This had better be good. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye, Charlie. Yeah. Goodbye, Charlie. Goodbye. What? Hey, what's going on here? Hello? Who is that? Oh, yeah. What happened? Oh, they took my freaking kidney. <gasps> They took his kidney? What? Why did they take his kidney? Oh, Lord, bro. This, this has got it out of hand. Club, <coughs> club, 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 club. <coughs> Glub, glub, look over there! It's a coral reef! Oh, look, it's you guys. And you're floating. Charlie, we're scuba diving, Charlie! We're exploring the depths of the ocean blue! Oh, no! Here comes a school of poisonous fugu fish! No! Fugu! Yeah, you gotta watch out for those. So, uh, go away, I'm watching TV. The vortex is open. Oh God! Okay, what is this? Charlie, we're being pulled into the vortex. Swim away, Fugu fish. Swim away. Come on now, you guys are freaking me out. Turn this thing off. There's no stopping the vortex, Charlie. Fugu. Guys. Guys. Or girls. I'm. I'm really not sure what you two are. Charlie! Charlie, I have the amulet! What amulet? What's going on? The amulet, Charlie! The magical amulet! Sparkle, sparkle! Sparkle! I, I don't understand what you're talking about! The amulet! In there! In there! We did it! We got the amulet! Great! Now go away! I'm tired of the horrible things that happen when you're around! No, Charlie! No! <laughs> We have to take the amulet to the Banana King! Oh, yes, the Banana King. 
Never mind. Of course. <coughs> Absolutely not. He, he's counting on us, Charlie. If we don't get the amulet to the Banana King, the Vortex will open and let out a thousand years of darkness. No! Darkness! Oh, all right, fine. I'll go, I'll go. What are you two doing? <laughs> Stop that. Wow, look at that. Si! El hombre con el sombrero nos envió. Él nos conta muchas historias asombrosas. What? Tenemos el tortugas esta noche. Seven buenos, el si. What did you two do? Si! Soy feliz. Just keep walking, Charlie. Keep walking. Hop on board the train, Charlie. It's gonna take us to the Banana King. I don't see any train. All I see is a giant sneaker. It's the Choo Choo Shoe, Charlie. The Choo Choo Shoe. Hurry, Charlie. It's about to leave. Chugga, 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 Yeah, I forgot my boarding pass. I'll just walk. We're here, Charlie. The Temple of the Banana King. Great. Let's leave the amulet and go home. What Who the hell? <coughs> no, no, really. You guys see it, right? I gotta be honest, I'm getting creeped out here. Somebody say something. Charlie, you look quite down with your big fat eyes and your big fat <laughs> frown. The world doesn't have to be so gray. Charlie, when your life's a mess, when you're feeling blue. Oh. Bro, what is it with the, the singing, bro? I feel like I'm watching a musical. Was in distress. I know I can wash that sad away. All you have to do is put a banana in your ear. A banana in my ear? Put a ripe banana right into your favorite ear. It's true. Says who? So true. Once it's in your gloom, will disappear. The bad in the world is hard to hear. When in your ear a banana cheers, so go and put a banana in your ear. Put a banana in your ear. I'd rather keep my ear clear. You will never be happy if you live your life in fear. It's true, Says you. so true, when it's in the skies are bright and clear. Oh, every day of every year, the sun shines bright in this big blue sphere. So go and put a banana in your ear. Oh, of course, he burst into flames. Go forth, magical amulet. Return to the Banana King. Charlie, you're the Banana King. What? Hey, hey, hold on a minute. You're the Banana King, Charlie. Oh, no, I'm not. That doesn't even make sense. All hail the Banana King. I'm not the Banana King. You are the Banana King. No, no, I'm... I'm banana, 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 Guys? Hello? Get me down from here! Ah! Okay, that's a sprain. Hello? Hello? <coughs> Guys, where are you? Ah, oh, you gotta be! Great, they robbed me! Jenny! What? What do you want? I don't know what to say. This series is very, very odd, very weird, very strange. <coughs> Hello? Is someone there? Charlie. What? What do you want? Uh. Charlie! Uh, yeah. 
Ah, give me a heart attack. That's fine. We're from the future, Charlie. Oh, I bet. The world is in peril. All that is good has been consumed by evil. The end is nigh. Sorry, I had to take care of something, so I had to pause the recording, but we're back now. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot, uh, they're from the future. Sorry. Man, recording is messing up. Anyway, we're back now. Yep, so that was the scariest thing I've ever seen. Come with us to the future! We need your help to finish our snowman! Snowman? What are you going on about? There's no time to explain! Grab onto our tongues! How do I- yeah. Oh, that is so gross! Ew! What? Man, I wish someone would come from the future and tell me to grab their tongue. I'd probably do it if I... On second thought, I might do it if I get to go to the future. Charlie, we're here! In the future! This looks exactly the same. Shh! You'll wake the Umu. Umu. We need to get to the river. And we gotta be sneaky. We gotta be sneaky, Charlie. Sneaky. Yeah, there's no way I can do that with my legs. Oh no, listen! The Umu has awoken! Run! What do you... I don't hear anything. Hurry! Look out for the Yam Yams! They're everywhere! What am I missing here? Narslogs! Coming in from above! Evasive maneuvers! Charlie! Look out for the blah blah blah! Uh, can I go home yet? Charlie, get on the dock! The blah 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 are right behind us! I think I'll take my chances with the oompoos and the wawas. Oh no! A narslog has got Charlie! Quickly, grab onto our tongues! Yeah. Oh, oh, really? Again with the tongues? Ring, ring, hello? Ring, ring, hello? Ring, ring, hello? Ring, ring, hello? Ring, ring. You have a bad connection! Time to go down below, into the liquid abyss! Oh my god, hey, hey, I can't swim or breathe underwater! Ring, ring, hello! I'm serious, ring, I'm ring, going hello. to drown! Ring, ring, what does hello. this have to do with ring, snowman? Ring, hello. Oh. See, Charlie? Look, this is where we've hidden the snowman! Yeah, to save the world, right? I'm not even gonna ask how I'm still alive. You hid the snowman underwater? That's physically impossible. But yet, everything in this video has been impossible, so uh, I'm not gonna question nothing. Cause you know what I think? I think I died long ago, and you two were my <laughs> eternal punishment. You're like a constant downer, huh? To get to the snowman, we first need to pass the door. The door. The door. The, the door. What is the door? The door is everything. All that once was and all that will be. The door controls time and space, love and death. The door can see into your mind. The door can see into your soul. Really? The, the door can do all that? <laughs> no. We're almost there, Charlie. It's right at the end of this. Oh my god, it's a whale! No! Yeah, whale! <laughs> Just a few more steps and we'll- Oh my god, it's a narwhal! No, narwhal! Narwhal of death! It's gonna kill us! <sighs> it's right up ahead now! You can see the- Oh my god, it's Stop a... it, stop it! I don't care about each and every sea creature you see! But Charlie, they care about you! Oh no, 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 no! I'm not even gonna ask anymore. Alone, the world's a drone, and nobody's shown any love to you. I can't tell if you're adorable or creepy. When your heart is cold as stone, just change your tone. Get rid of that groan, and the world will too. Probably gonna go with creepy. Come swordfishes. Love you. Jellyfishes. Love you. Starfish. I love you. You know it's- Was that Patrick? Bruh, that sounded like Patrick from Spongebob. 
jellyfish is love you. Stop it. I love you. You know it's true. Catfishes love you. Carlfishes love you. Starfish running up to in the ocean blue. Lungfish, blackfish, alligator, icefish, armorhead, hammerhead, anaconda, flathead, manta ray, stingray, fang tooth, moray, gobble jar, grass car, brown river, bat ray, noodlefish, hagfish, man of war, ladyfish, black eel, baby seal, sprat coy, electric eel, lamprey, petrel, yellow edge, moray, seven shark, sleepy shark, featherback, and eagle ray. Well, you can't ignore this plea, that's fine with me, but one day you'll see that my words are true. Please stop singing to me. What if? You find that you agree I guarantee That you will soon be Feeling the love too I can't wait Cause fishes Love you Jellyfishes Love you Starfishes I wanna be with you forever You know it's true Catfishes Love you Cuttlefishes Love you Blogfishes Starfish love me, love me In the ocean blue Oh, there goes everyone exploding. Oh, hey, look at that. Hey, guys, I found the snowman. What did you want me to do? Guys? What the? Oh, sleeping gas, of course. Why did I expect any different? Oh, oh, where am I? Hey, what happened to my heart? Oh, come on, really? What did that accomplish? Why would... Oh, look, it's my kidney. Longfish, blackfish, alligator, icefish, armorhead, hammerhead, and a kind of flathead. At least, at least he found his kidney, man. That's, that's all that matters. Critical engine failure! Emergency systems are offline! Of what? Hold bridge! We have a hold bridge! Abandon ship! We're going down! Whatever, I'm leaving. There's no time to evacuate! This is the end! Yeah! Oh, no! We don't have much time! We need to get to the moon! In outer space! I don't know why I yelled that! The moon? Why do you need Drum that? Solo. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -da -da -da. What's on the moon? A huge scary millipede! Uh, what? It's using gross slimy millipede power to destroy the cavern of the Red Wind! The I don't care! I don't know why I'm even asking! It's obvious I have no actual choice here! How about we save some time and just go to the freaking moon? Oh my god, that would be amazing! I want all! I don't understand how you can do these things! That was... I don't understand either. Don't worry, you ain't the only one. I don't understand either. So how long is this gonna take? Ah, uh, Charlie! There's a big old bug on your face! What? Where? Is it the millipede? Oh my god, Charlie! Charlie, get it off! I don't feel anything! Ah, oh, it's so gross and okay! Police! Police! Uh, this is the police! We have you surrounded, Mr. Bug! Uh -huh. Taser him! Stop! Hey! He's resisting arrest! Oh, stop it! There's no bug! He's got a gun! Oh, oh god! He's got another gun! Oh. We're here! Yay! You're ready, Charlie! I believe in you! You ready for what? Behold! The millipede! Oh uh, yeah! Here we go! A millipede. Of course, there's there's always singing. Every creature just has to break out into a song. Apparently, I am amazing. <laughs> I command you to gaze upon my face. You'll never find someone charming as I am I'm the swankiest bug out in space I'm a star, I'm a god, I'm a thing to behold There is none as resplendent as I With my sleek little legs and my 300 eggs Oh my majesty none can deny Because I am a millipede, I am mysterious When I vanish I never leave a trace you will not find a bug with such illusions I'm a creature of fathomless grace Millipede means the Lord, Millipede means the Lord Millipede means grandeur, Millipede means savior Millipede means mature, Millipede means so pure Millipede means the cure for all lesser breeds I am a millipede, I am a champion No one else
pace and the universe keeps pace You'll never find someone quite so enchanting While I'm here there's just no second place I'm an idol, a king, I'm an object of all There is none quite so gleaming as I I've got glamour to spare, you are right when you stare I'm the who, what, when, where and the why Join me! I am the millipede, I am the astounding Wisdom flows from my personage like lace You'll never find someone dialing as she I am I'm the swankiest, tootlery pest Certainly best dressed bug out in space You did it, Charlie! You defeated the millipede! It just exploded like everything does when it sings to me! <laughs> the cavern is open! Oh, no! I don't want to do it! I can't take any more of this! You do! You're... You're just horrible! Charlie, listen to me! This is the most important thing we've ever needed you for! If you go into the cavern, we'll never bother you again! Never! I promise! It'll be the last you ever see of us, Charlie! Okay. Okay, I'll go in! Charlie! You're a dream machine! Alright, so we're in. What do I do? Uh, what is that? We've gotten kind of bored. We're also bored of the moon, so we're going to blow it up. What? Oh, okay. And how do we get back to Earth? Hi, Charlie. You've always kind of smelled like a bird. Thought you were Uh, you guys are going a little far this time, huh? Guys. Guys. Guys! Charlie, we don't have much time! Oh, starfish. They're, uh, they're trying to kill me. All will be explained, but first you need to wish on me! What? I'm a star! Make a wish! Wish to go home! All right, but what happens to you? Just do it, my love! Wish! I wish to go home! Oh, oh my god! Yay! Bye, Charlie! Okay, who's next? Oh! Hello! Well, this is embarrassing. Oh, YOLO! <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. You tried to kill Charlie, and all you can say is this is embarrassing? <clears throat> well, this is embarrassing. Oh! Hello! Well, this is embarrassing. Oh, YOLO! What is that? What is that? Is that the cube from Transformers? Am I looking at the All Spark right now? <clears throat> Hello? Is anyone there? I seek access to the tower. Uh, 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 yes, yes, someone is here. It is I, Norwell, a member of the Order of Tutelary Weasels, Protectors of the Tower. Why have you traveled here, stranger? I'm a researcher. I've come to study the tower and its significance to some ancient texts. Uh, well, I guess I'll assemble the council then, even though it's very late. Uh, th thank you. God, it's so dark and late. I can wait until morning if it's more convenient. Mm, too late now. I've already started the council assembly process. Here they come. Oh, wow. They're getting very wet and they look extremely tired. Sorry. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. It's just a huge hassle. <coughs> I, Norwell, Chairman of the Order of Tutelary Weasels, Noble Protectors of the Tower, have called for this meeting of the Council of the Order of Tutelary Weasels to discuss the matter of, uh, what was your name again? Nyx, N-Y-X. The matter of Nyx, who has requested access to that in which we have dedicated our entire lives to protect, thus disrespect- What does this have to do with the unicorns? 
breaking our order and spitting on our very way of life. Shame! Shame. Shame. Yes, shame! I apologize. I've come to complete my study. I didn't mean to disrespect your order. Well, you have. You have gravely disrespected all of us. Should I leave, then? Your request for early dismissal from council proceedings further insults this council and is denied. Okay. Tell me, Nix, are you aware that this tower is possibly, but not definitively, extremely dangerous and bad? Yes, I am well versed in the scrolls that describe this tower as a weapon of unimaginable destruction. Then you understand why it must be protected every hour of every day by an order of weasels. I understand why it requires protection, yes. And you think it appropriate to circumvent that protection for the sake of anthropological study? I have, through my work, come to believe that the actual danger may not be with the tower itself, but instead something deep within the caverns below it. You may be guarding the wrong thing. I disagree. So you don't even want access to the tower, just the caverns? Uh, yes, technically. Well, thank you for making me call this a council meeting for nothing. We're the protectors of the tower. If your request falls outside the scope of tower-related matters, then it is of no concern to this council. Oh, great. Oh, okay. I'll head to the caverns then. I shall escort you. I keep my pottery projects down there and I don't want you knocking anything over. If my research is correct, there should be a large door of sorts, directly <coughs> below where the tower sits. You know, I've never actually been this deep into the caverns. Why is that? I saw an upsetting-looking bat down here <laughs> once. Kind of put me off the whole place, to be honest. <laughs> upsetting-looking bat? What? Oh, oh, God, there it is! Oh my god, look at it! <laughs> oh, jeez. Tell me that is not an upsetting-looking bat! Uh, yes, I suppose it is. God, I can't believe it's still here. That was years ago when I saw it. Go away, get out of here, bat! Oh, I think I see the door. This way. <laughs> How are you so unconcerned with this bat? This is it. It really exists. Jeez, Louise, why is there a door here? And why does the Order of Tutelary Weasels not know of this? You may need to expand the scope of your protection. Dang it. I'm gonna have to convene another council meeting. And you must leave at once. If what you say is true, then this is weasel business now. Hmm. I'll wait outside the tower, but I would really like to study the door and its markings if your order will allow it. We shall see. Now, be gone. Thank you. It is I, Norwell. Uh, why? I died. I'm a phantom now. What happened? Well, the council convened, and we all voted to open the door. What? We thought we'd find weapons to secure, but what was in there was alive, and it killed us, and we're all phantoms now. What? What? You should probably get out of here and warn the world that death is coming for everyone. See if they can do something about that. Yes, I'll, I'll get help. There might still be time. Oh my god. Yep. Uh, our bad. Oh, there's Charlie. The, the unicorns are here. Ugh, what? Hey, do you hear that? Yeah, it must be some kind of emergency. Oh, hey, Charlie. Didn't see you there. Oh, uh, hey. What are you doing? Nothing, you know, just hanging with the boys. What boys? The boys! <laughs> Oh my god, what is... why is there so much blood? We all come from blood, Charlie. Blood is divine and pure. Okay. So before you say a thing, Charlie, remember this blood is yours. What did that mean? Why is the blood mine? Hey, we looked into the emergency. It seems pretty serious. Seems like the kind of thing we should really, uh, check out. You tried to kill me a week ago. I'm not going anywhere with you. Charlie, my sweet stallion, my magnificent horse angel. I know we have some trust issues, and that's both our faults. You literally tried to murder me. Why would we do that, Charlie? That doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. See, it doesn't make sense, Charlie. Ugh. Listen, we don't have much time. The Wabawongle has been released. No, not the Wabawonk. Yes, the mighty Wabwack back again. The what? The Wackwonk. It's coming for us all. And if you've ever been witness to a wack wang attack, you know it's no joke. Uh, it'll be like that everywhere soon if we don't stop them. I just want you to know, before you force me along, that I do not believe one single word of this nonsense. Even wack wong Yes, especially that. Well, you know what? You're wack wrong Now let's go on an adventure and change our lives forever. Uh. Ugh. Oh, no. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. That's me. <coughs> All of your thoughts and feelings are wrong. Oh. Charlie, 
with a unicorn. Have a seat, please make yourself at home, Charlie the Unicorn. What are you doing inside of my house? Uh, everyone is smiling, but you've got a frown. Everyone is happy, yet you're feeling down. That means the problem is inside your head. Or maybe the issue is your heart is dead. I don't... I don't know what's happening anymore. Don't know how to deal. Nah. I'm Great. Ads. Sorry, I just... I just had to turn my light on. Anyway, guys, um... Yeah, I kind of stopped recording halfway through the video. It's daytime now. It was nighttime. Probably could see the, the window. But yeah. I was like so tired that I was actually getting nauseous. Have you ever been so exhausted that you start feeling sick? That's what was happening. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to finish this tomorrow. I uh, hope it doesn't ruin the recording because that would be unfortunate. But uh, oh well. Let's get back into this, man. <laughs> I forgot about the singing dolphin. <laughs> it's Charlie the Unicorn. Please come in. Sit anywhere you'd like. Charlie the Unicorn. Not the good chair. Get off of it, you fool. Happiness is easy and quick to obtain. Sadness is just failure by some other name. If you let misery in, it will spread. Which means it's your fault every time you feel dread. Just stop feeling dread, so there can be good times ahead. Well, thank you for the advice. Oh, is this blood also mine? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Magic City, City of Magic. Hi, I'm Mayor Slove. That's right, <coughs> that's Slove. Before I was the humble mayor of this great city, I was the humble CEO of Slove Industries, the world's most successful generalized intermediary service, providing employment for hundreds of thousands of low-income workers, but providing those same workers to hundreds of thousands of labor-seeking customers, in combining... Welcome, employer-employee. Please state your appointment authorization code. Oh, uh... Slav yourself. Code accepted. Welcome, Nix and YX. When I started Slav Industries, they said to me, Slav, how can you expect to build a successful company that doesn't technically do anything? Well, they forgot about you. They forgot about all your hard work. They forgot the sense of community that arises when you're both employee and employer. You sell your labor, and you hire the labor of your friends, all with the help of Papa Slav. And now that Slav Industries and our great city are one entity, that process is easier than ever. So as both your mayor and your benefactor, let me just say, I'm very busy. You have three minutes. Thank you for meeting with me, Mayor Slove. Yes, well, I received your letter and found it quite sensational. The thing that was unleashed, I believe it may travel here to Magic City. City of Magic? Uh, what? The city's name is Magic City, colon, City of Magic. Oh. I'm the mayor. These things are important. Anyway, I believe the being is a sort of magic siphon, gaining power from Quick those Quick question. Things. Sorry to interrupt. Can we harness this siphon? No. I mean for money, not evil. Money. No. Go on. Your city has the highest concentration of magical beings in the world. If I were looking for more magic to absorb, this would be the first place I'd hit. I think you're exactly right. In fact, I think they've already arrived. Really? When? A few hours ago. They murdered me. They what? They murdered me, and now they're puppeteering my dead body to speak to you. Huh. Yes, it's true. I'm a corpse puppet. It's gross, but electable. What do you want? Oh, you've already got that all figured out, but it won't matter. Did you know the mayor threw your letter in the garbage? Look, there's a banana peel on it. That's hilarious. Are you going to kill me? No, no, not you. Not yet. I want you to watch everything fall apart, including... Oh, God. Charlie. Charlie! 
Are you done washing all that blood off your body? No. There was a lot of blood. Yes, there was a lot of blood. All over my body. <laughs> lot of blood. <clears throat> Are you done now, Charlie? Ugh. Whatever, it's good enough. Yeah! Deep breaths, Charlie. It's okay that you're freaking out. You don't know where you're going. You're traveling with murderers on your way to, best case scenario, another murderer. Also, you haven't eaten today. At what point does this all stop happening? God, I could go for an apple or something. It's hard to think. I'm so hungry. All right, well, gotta open your eyes at some point, Charlie. Gotta continue living this nightmare. Ugh. Is this rainbow of a dining car? Charlie, look! It's a lovely swan! Ah! Uh, what a big, beautiful boy! Sure. Oh my! <sighs> it's a sensuous golden eagle! Strong. Wow, that is a bird! Strong. Look at those luscious beak lips! Grazie. <laughs> you! What a rare treat! <laughs> What's that big old boy doing up here? <laughs> you don't have to kiss me. <laughs> All right. Whoa, is that the dreaded condor? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. Be careful. <laughs> Why are all these birds? <laughs> I've, I'm not even going to question this anymore. With this spicy girl, she might... She might what? Why did everything stop? Is this what she might do? Charlie, my love, my sweet. Starfish, you're looking awful, just really bad. How are you still alive? You need magic to survive what is to come. Okay. I found this enchanted mollusk, the last of its kind. You must absorb it, Charlie. Absorb it and mollusk magic is yours. I would rather not do that. The mollusk and you must merge, Charlie. You must fuse together like colliding stars. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Oh, yuck. Yes, the mollusk is now part of you forever, Charlie. You will never be rid of it. Farewell, we shall meet again. I love you more than ever. Yeah, see ya. Give you a big old spicy kiss. Ah! now you're married and you're gonna have a baby. If a unicorn and a condor had a baby, what would that even look like? Maybe a Pegasus with, uh, yeah, maybe a Pegasus. <coughs> oh, it's you. Yes, and you. I'm not waiting for you or anything. I'm just dead and lost. How goes the world? Magic City has fallen. Magic City, City of Magic has fallen? Bleak news indeed. Nearly everyone there is dead, or a dead flesh puppet. I feel like I don't actually want to hear about this. That's fine. I don't think I want to talk about it. How'd you get a keyboard? I was crying in the woods and accidentally scared an old musician to death. His gear followed him into the afterlife, and in the confusion of it all, I just sort of yoinked it. Oh. I've been going through a bit of a crisis. I can understand that. Would you like to hear a song? Full disclosure, I'm not very good and I don't handle criticism well. Sure, why not? <clears throat> I bought myself a coat. A brand new shiny coat just the other day. I went into the shop and saw this big coat hanging there. And they looked at me with their smooth coat body and said, I've led a hard life as a coat. I'm not actually new, I'm an old coat. If I look new, it's because we are in love. That's right, you and me. We're in love, you and a coat, me. Life can be terrible when you're a coat. And does, every, does everything have a mouth and can sing? Me, I'm a coat and stuff spirit, but the winds they're changing. You're taking me home to a brand new life, a better life. I love you. I still need a coat, a normal, lifeless coat, one for me to wear. I love my coat, husband. Yes, that's right, we got married, but still, I also need a regular coat for inclement weather. It can be hard when you're a coat. And your husband is cold and is no coat And you'd let him wear you around if you could But you actually can't Because of the terms of the witch curse that brought you to life Which can be terrible without a coat Like me, I'm a coat but 
but not one he can wear. So the journey continues, the journey called marriage, and the journey called shopping for some clothing. The moral of this story is we're married and we kiss a ghost and a coat and it's fine, it's great. Get out of here if you don't like it. We do other stuff too that I'm not going to talk about, but that's it. That's the song. That was lovely, Norwell, and, uh... I'm a coat. I don't have a name. Well, the song was lovely. Thank you. Oh, hey, Magic City, City of Magic fell. You know anyone there? My father is dead. (laughs) Hey, Charlie? Yeah? How can you be sure that you are you? Excuse me? What the uh, hell? How do you know that you are you? I don't understand the question. How can you be certain you aren't someone else? I don't know, because I like my memories and stuff. Do you remember the snowman? Uh, y- yeah. They gave it your horn. They gave it your kidney. What else did they give it? What are you saying? The sad gray unicorn known as Charlie died out in the snow. The snowman then was given Charlie's memories and continued on in his place. What? No, that's... It's all been the snowman since then. It's all... Wait a minute, that's the the choo-choo show. That's before I even saw the snowman. Oh, yeah, my bad. (sighs) Welcome, Sea City, City of the Sea awaits. Just go in the tube. Just go in the tube. Just go in the tube. Welcome, welcome, Sea City, City of the Sea awaits. Just go (coughs) in the tube. (coughs) Go in the tube, please. Welcome, please, please, please. Just go in the tube. Just go in the tube. Just go in the tube. All right. Welcome, Nix and YX. I am Suzanix, Empress of Sea City, City of the Sea. It's just Nix. Excuse me. My name is Nix. Nick? Uh, no, Nix, N-Y-X. Nix, N-Y-X. Have you been enjoying our visitor center? We make sure to keep it stocked with all the amenities landwalkers love, like bottled water, paper, little fires. It's lovely, but I'm afraid I come here on rather urgent business. Oh my, <coughs> well, by all means, urge away. I'm here to warn you about a powerful, destructive being that has been set loose upon the world. Are you talking about the spinning cube thing? Uh, yes. Oh, they've already been here, and it's all sorted. I I can't believe it. How? They were perfectly reasonable. They gave me a hundred thousand gold coins, and the promise not to attack Sea City, City of the Sea, for ten years, in exchange for all our geographic and surveillance data. Ah. It's win-win, baby. Win-win. What happens in ten years? We die, I guess. But that's in ten years. Plenty of time to spend all that gold. I don't even know how to begin. Oh. Where'd you go? You just yanked. No! You didn't even take a little fire with you. Oh, wow, look, Charlie. Uh. It's the temple. <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. What the? Uh, what sort of temple? The temple of the cat. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Any cat in particular? I guess I'm going to meet the cat. Let me tell you about the fateful day a unicorn named Charlie arrived in a big fuzzy temple. I'm not even gonna question anything anymore. Pull a temple so out of the way that no map I've seen has ever even drawn it. In a state of befuddlement, he could clap clip towards a fuzzy pantheon when suddenly a figure all shrouded in shadow and intrigue opened up their eyes and said, Inside the temple by a figure who he thought might very well be the one and only 
wonderful cat, as previously mentioned in the story. Well, as he clip clop clipped his way through the fuzzy temple chamber room, there was a flash of color, then a cat appeared right before his eyes, and with a big cat smile, they said, <laughs> the saboteur i did was it the cat no charlie it was oh uh, charlie honey bun i bring more magic for you to consume is it gross magic it's mucus from the enchanted flesh orb mucus from the enchanted flesh orb yes my lamb it's the most powerful mucus in the world you know what sure whatever toss it in me thank you charlie you shall become mighty with mucus magic Wow, that feels terrible. I will see you again soon, my heavenly dog. See you later, Starfish. <coughs> Me! I'm the saboteur! <gasps> Jacques! Wait, what were we talking about? I've secretly been working for the Webadab. <laughs> How could you? We had a life together. Are you gonna kill me now or can I go home? But I've learned something on this trip. I've learned that the web web is no good. <laughs> Not in this economy. No good. <laughs> Financially speaking. I'm very tired. Begin to explode. Uh, I've got them. The researchers here in the Bugnasium. Don't tell them about the conspiracy. Conspiracy? Surface dwellers aren't supposed to know this, but space is full of bugs, and we quietly run the world. Well, that was a secret. The time for secrets is in the toilet, Zoopy. <laughs> Dang, Zimmy's down. What's happening? The glowing cube thing is killing us. Us. The bugs. <laughs> There goes Thrax. What do you know about the cube? Well, we know it can reach space. That's something we didn't know a half hour ago. Have you just been watching it kill people? I mean, we didn't like that it was killing people. We didn't want to interfere because it was scary. And there goes Buggy, the bug. Why have you brought me here? Ah, uh, dang, the cube's here. Before I die, don't tell the researcher about the owls. What are you not supposed to tell me about the owls? Oh, uh, owls are actually bugs. Uh, they're here too. I always knew this day would come. I just kind of hoped I would get strangled to death. I guess beggars can't be choosers when it comes to getting murdered. Yep. All right, goodbye, everyone. Look, now that most of my people are dead, we need to come up with a plan to fight this darn thing. Owls are bugs? Yeah, they look a little like birds, but actually they're bugs. But that is not important right now. Okay. You're the researcher who was at the tower when that cube was released, right? How do you know about that? Owls. Ah. Yes, that was me. Well, then I'm ordaining you head research bug, because our researchers got all... I mean, that's them all around us. You can see. We should head to the tower where this all started. I never finished my research, and I think it's important that I do. Sure, why not? Let me just put some of these dead bodies in the garbage first. Whoa. Well, would you look at that? Are they all right? Yeah, sometimes heads come off. Okay. Uh. That's a lot of goo. A lot of goo. Why is that happening? Why does anything happen? Hmm. <laughs> oh, God. See, it's all fine. Are you okay? I realize you don't need to go to these lengths to make me uncomfortable. I'm always uncomfortable. Close your eyes, Charlie. Why? Is something gonna happen? Yes, something wonderful. Close your eyes. Uh, all right. I want you to picture a circle. Can you do that for me? Sure. Now I want you to imagine that circle's in a beautiful meadow. Why not? 
You're feeling very relaxed here in this meadow with your beautiful blue circle. The circle's supposed to be blue. Ah, uh, what? You didn't tell me to picture a blue circle. It should be blue, Charlie. Well, it's not. What color is the circle? It's just white. Oh, no, Charlie! Get out of there! What? Get out of there, Charlie! Whoa, 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 there's something in the circle. Charlie, open your eyes! I, I can't. Why can't I open them? No! I'm so sorry. It's getting closer. What do I do? I don't know. This wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, God. Oh, God. <gasps> Charlie, Charlie, I just realized something. What? You're looking at my butt. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is so childish. <laughs> hey, I got some boba. Well, I've just seen some things. What do you mean? I went looking for food and <coughs> found a walk-in freezer full of sliced up voles. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm not going to deny that we indulged in forbidden pleasures of the flesh. I only ask that you consider the context. What's the context? We were very hungry and voles are easy to deceive. Hmm. Yep. You must be Norwell. I must be, yes. What are you two doing here? Bug business, which is none of your weasel business. What? What does that red wheel do? <laughs> you know what? I have no idea. We turned it once and the tower made sounds, so we all pinky swore to never touch it again. Why? Are you thinking of uh, touching it? The cube was locked away below this tower. Could the tower be what trapped it? Mm, you mean what if the weasels were right all along? No. It found us. We're out of time. Oh, dang. Okay. I'll try to buy you a few minutes by buzzing around or something. Thank you, Krell. <laughs> there we go, those are the sounds. Terrible, yucky. Hey, Nix. Hey, look up here for a sec. Your bug friend is dead already. I killed him instantly without even thinking about it. Why am I still here? I don't want to watch this. I guess I'm protector of the tower. I should probably stay, right? Yeah. Yeah, stay. You've done a great job so far, buddy. Hey, you killed me. You can't razz me, too. That sounds like loser talk. <coughs> I see you've turned the tower on for some reason. Do you know what it does? I have a hope. Okay, so you don't. Great. Well, get ready. Whoa, hey! I got a little friend now. I knew it! Never break a pinky swear! Hey, you should <laughs> grab a body too! Then we can kiss? I don't understand. That's a portal to where I was born. Here, I'll show you. <sighs> uh, see you later. So, I'm not 100% sure, but I think if I push you into the portal, you'll explode and die. That could be funny. But why? Uh, that's a big question. Why do we find anything funny? What is a humor? I guess we'll never know. Well, goodbye, Nix. <coughs> I love you. Wait, wait, wait! Ah. Oh. Rest in peace to Nix, man. This is so unfortunate. <clears throat> 10,000 years later? We're here, Charlie. Our magical journey's at an end. Wow, it's uh, very nice. It's time for you to meet the Wabawoo! Charlie! Hey, you're here to see the Wabawoo? Here is the last of the magic I could find. It's a foot, Charlie. There's no other way to put it. It's a magical foot. Yep, that's a foot, all right. And now, it's my foot. Come, there is someone you must meet. Is it the Wu-Boo? What? Never mind. Spirit, I have returned! Oh, great. This one isn't dead already. He's alive and beautiful, and I love him with all my heart. Is he magic? Who are you? A ghost. Are you magic? I have a magical foot inside me, and some mucus. And a mollusk. That's probably not enough, but we'll give it a shot. Okay. Give what a shot. Starfish, you've done very well. I'm gonna need to end your enchantment now. As it must be. Goodbye, my honeysuckle. Goodbye. What? I'm going to send you through a portal. My current theory is you need to be sufficiently magic to survive entry. If you're not magic enough, your body will cause an energy cascade. Uh... The last person only absorbed one magical item, so you're three times less likely to explode. If my theory is correct, which it probably isn't, I'm sorry. 
Are you the Weebo Worm? The what? The other unicorn said I needed to come here to stop the W something. They aren't unicorns, they're corpses puppeted by demons. What, really? That is... I'm really upset by that. It's time to go. At least if the portal kills you, your body won't be used for musical numbers or whatever it is they're up to. Wait, wait, what's in the portal? What do I do in there? I don't know. It took me forever just to open it again. I can't have all the answers. Right, right. Was that you? No. Uh. What? Again? Just breathe, Charlie. Come on. Um, well, bye, Charlie. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry if this is bad. We're certainly gonna find out. You think he'll turn into meat chunks or meat dust? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> in the night, in the night, we gave barely a fight. Joy. Are they skidding? Skid, 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 skidding? I don't know how you say it. Do you hear that? Want me to check it out? Yeah, no problem. You're flying. You won't believe who I met. It's the dreaded letter Y. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Who are you? Who are you? All right, all right. Let's find someone else. Should we bring Y? Eh, later. Whoa, it's another unicorn. Wake up, little baby. Uh, oh. Hello. Hey, you want to go on an adventure? An adventure? Uh, yeah, okay. Been a while since I've even seen anyone. Wow. I'm Charlie, by the way. Charlie! Charlie! Char Wait, is this when they first met? Cool. This is the origin story of Charlie. Charlie! <laughs> yeah, that's <coughs> me. Weird. Very weird. Hey, you're gonna wake up those little devils and then more of them are gonna get out. Are you who keeps opening the portal? Uh, no. I don't think so. How'd you even get in here? This place is secure. Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? I'm Charlie the Unicorn, the greatest sorcerer in the world and CEO of Charlie Technologies. I don't know what most of that means, but my name is Charlie too, and I'm also a unicorn. Mm. I think I found a loophole in my security system. Where am I? What is this place? It used to be my office until those hooligans mutinied. Hooligans? Chaos spirits, fairies, demons, whatever you want to call them. You know who's the best customer in the world? I do not. The military. You know what's the most lucrative product in the world? I also do not know that. Labor. Especially when the laborer isn't protected by any labor laws. Like chaos spirits. I'm not following any of this. I thought, why not round up those crafty little freaks and give them something useful to do? They're not very powerful on their own, but with the might of capital backing, now you're getting somewhere. So I tried Wrapped him in blocks of iron, slapped my patented magic siphoning spell on the blocks, and made a self-sustaining weapon that'll last forever. 
And how did that work out? One of them killed me and took my magic. It was an oversight, I admit, but the profit potential on this, it was through the roof. I'd like to go home if possible. Are you magic? Uh, yes. We can shut this project down for good. It's not working, I can admit that. I'm gonna link you up to my Mindscape Realizer. Mindscape Realizer. Got a trademark on that name, it's gonna be a big deal. What is a Mindscape Realizer? Mindscape Realizer. It's a sort of, uh, well, it's another magic siphon. I work mostly in siphons. But I got this one hooked up to the project's reappropriation process. So what do I do? Not much, though it works best if you're thinking positive thoughts. Easier to grab your magic that way. So think happy. I think you got the wrong guy for this. The user experience is very intuitive, top-notch stuff. It'll all come naturally to you. Okay. Get ready to mind stay. See ya, Charlie. Where'd he go? <clears throat> Happy thoughts, best not to look around Charlie the Unicorn Now hold still while somebody stabs you in the gut Everyone is smiling and I've got a frown But why should I smile as they toss me around? I'm told the issue is inside my head As they make a world that is withered and dead Oh god, I'm getting the wrong kind of readings, Charlie. I said happy thoughts. This isn't gonna work if you're so angry. You're making the building shake. It shouldn't do that. Happy thoughts, Charlie. Come on! <clears throat> Everyone is smiling, but you've got a frown. Charlie the Unicorn! Is it over? I think it might be over, yes. over. No mess melted. <clears throat> Okay, that, uh, wasn't too bad. Whoa, wait, is that me? Why is my face there? What did I do? <laughs> well done, Charlie. Ah, uh, hello. How wonderful it is to finally greet you in my true form. I am Startar, first turned into a wheel by a misguided sorcerer and then into a starfish by a traumatized ghost. That's quite a life you've had. Ha, huh, yes! Although it is nothing compared to the life that still awaits, you and I shall- <laughs> That was a perfectly natural heart attack, Charlie. Oh. It seems as if our time together has been cut tragically short. That sucks. Think of me when you <laughs> chance to gaze upon the heavens at night. I will be staring back upon your beautiful body from the stars. Okay. How is this, my sweet? You're a bit low. How about this? Perfect. <clears throat>
Well, um, that was something. Hit that like button as hard as you possibly can if you enjoyed this. Um, I'm tired, man. This, an hour of this, but this was an hour. This is funny as shit, though. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, it was funny. It was funny. Uh, I don't think it was as funny as the llama with hats, but uh, it was still funny. I had some laughs. I giggled. I teehee like a school girl. I'm sorry. That was, I shouldn't have said that. That was weird. My bad. But anyway, like I said at the beginning of the video, my gaming channel will be in the description below if you want to check that out or not. It's up to you. The original will be down there also as long um Along with all my social media links, be free to DM me whatever you want me to react to. And as always, <sighs> I'm good to go, man. I'm out of here.